In your poem, Screaming for Jesus, Merrill, you paint such vivid images of the mules and the miners that I wondered you know, what corners of your imagination and experience did you draw from to recreate this really tragic uh, historical occurrence? Well, Harry, as a uh, teenage boy, I was invited down into the mines in Indiana, into a coal mine one day, and at the bottom of the mine, I found they were using mules to haul the carts from the uh, face of the dig up to the elevators and the shafts. The mules never saw the light of day. They were born in the mines, bred in the mines, fed there and uh, raised and spent their entire lives. And their eyes really did turn, as I described them, a, a blind milky white. They lost all color and, and the... Uh, um, they tell me nowadays that the uh, mules are no longer used in the mind. It's all mechanical. So that's, a, that's something that makes you feel a little better about it. Screaming for Jesus. The blind eyes of the mules in an Indiana coal mine haunt me. They never see the light of day. The eyes of the mules turn blind, milky white. The lungs of the miners turn black. The fire doors were padlocked shut at the chicken processing plant in Hamlet, North Carolina. And I saw again the blind eyes of the mules in an Indiana coal mine. People are our most important product the building blocks of our company, intoned the owners. But we can't have them stealing chickens now, can we? Lock those doors. The mules lunge from the face of the mine to the bottom of the shaft and back. In the flames, in the smoke, I see the workers lunge against locked doors, breaking bloody fingers, screaming for Jesus to come undo the padlocks. The blind mules and the 25 dead workers never stole a single chicken. They died honest. They had that much going for them. <laughs>